So I just got done spending $1,000 in articles for one of my websites to try to get search engine rankings. Now, to outsource these articles was actually pretty easy. It only took a little bit for the people to finish the articles. And here's what the content experiment looks like. We are spending $1,000 on content and it's an experiment. Now, the way that it worked is very simple. What I did is I spent on 34 articles that have a word count of about 2,000 words each. It's 2,000 or more, up to 3,000, something like that. Those articles cost me $28.20 each, and there's some of the keywords we used. So I got these articles here so that I can get ranked on the search engines and get lots of free traffic. Now you can outsource articles a little bit cheaper. There was an option to get these for $14, which would have been half price and I would have gotten double the content, but I wanted them to do a good job. Now in a later video, I'm gonna show you the difference between a $14 article and a $28 article so you can understand the difference there and make your decision based on what you wanna get done. Now before we dive in and I show you the actual articles that I got for all this money, I want to take a minute to show you why I came up with the keywords and which keywords I selected and how it's going to work out for me in the long run. Now about a year ago, I noticed that one of the blog posts that I made without any purpose or anything, I just threw it up on my blog, started ranking for the word Wix affiliate program. And I was like, wait a minute, this keyword is now bringing me traffic every single day for a very targeted keyword. And I liked that, I thought it was really cool. Now I had been doing search engine marketing since 1999 when the internet was just a wee lad. And I learned a lot of things, but I kind of ignored it for a while on one of my main sites because it was so much easier to get paid traffic and to get free traffic from like YouTube and stuff like that. So recently I started diving in and saying, what would this look like? And the content search engine bug hit and I kind of went crazy. And so what I did is I printed out a bunch of keywords and different rankings for my competitor sites to look at what they're ranking for and look at what's easy. And you'll notice that this has like the volume, it's got the keyword difficulty. And so I was looking at the keyword difficulty, like for this one, gaming affiliate programs, the keyword difficulty is only a one. So I was like, okay, cool, I could probably rank for stuff like that with a site that I haven't done much SEO on. So let's get started with that and see how it works out. And so I decided, hey, you know what? Let's do a test. And you can tell that I've been working way too much because my hair kind of is taking on a life of its own. So let's talk about how these keywords worked and how we did all that, how we did the keyword research and kind of what's going on. Now I noticed that with my website, I have several different rankings for some terms that are pretty good, but I'm not getting that much traffic. So I wanted to dive in deeper and see what I could get more traffic for. For example, take a look at this one that I recently started ranking for just this month that is about free classified ad sites. And I never even tried to rank for this word. It just happened as a byproduct and now I'm getting traffic from that word, which is pretty cool because my site hasn't had much SEO on it ever. So what I decided to do is go out there, spend the thousand dollars, get the 34 articles and see what happens. Now it's very important that I focus on the right keywords, which we're going to show you in just a second. And we focus on the sweet spot. So we want sweet spot keywords that we know we can get. This is especially important if you have a new website. A lot of people are out there going for the wrong keywords and that's why they fail. If you go for the right keywords that have the right amount of traffic that are focused on things that you know people People will want to check out more of your site for, then you're golden. And these words are not that hard to rank for at all. So we got to have the sweet spot and we got to have one that's like less than 10 on the keyword difficulty scale. Now you can find this keyword difficulty scale in several keyword tools. Some are free, some are paid, and I have a list of those keyword tools over at keywordsniffer.com. You can get those tools, you can use them and find the competition for any keyword you want. So I set out and I dove into 34 different keywords that I really wanted to rank for that I thought weren't too competitive that I could get traffic on. Now, in order to make this happen, I was listening to a lot of the people out there that are talking about SEO and things like that. And again, remember, I've done SEO for a long time. I'm not a super expert, but I've gotten several hundred million visitors for free from the search engines. And I noticed that a lot of people were saying, and I've learned too, that 1,500 words or more is a good size for an article. Now, you can't just put junk articles up there and you can't just focus on any keyword. So you gotta have easy to rank keywords. This is gonna put you in the sweet spot. Next, you have to have good relevant content. Some of the articles that we had written, we had to send back and I had to say, you know what, redo this article or you're not gonna get paid. In 
nicer terms, right? So I gotta have good relevant content. It can't just be about some kind of junk. Next, the word has to have lots of subcategory words. So for example, the free ad website free classified keyword I was going for, there's lots of subcategory words. There's different variations of the word. There's this different things added on to the word. For example, if we look at some of the keywords that I went for here, I have a little snapshot of six of the articles I got. Some of them we're still waiting on. One of them was the Amazon affiliate program. Now this has lots of subcategory words, Amazon affiliate program, Amazon associate program, how to sign up for the Amazon affiliate program, how much does the Amazon affiliate program pay? And on and on we go with tons and tons and tons of keywords that we can rank for with just one article if we do it right. I also went for the next keyword, which was Shopify affiliate program. I noticed that one of my articles had the word Shopify affiliate program from way back when that we didn't even try to rank for, and it ranked like number 90 for it. And I was like, hey, if I rank number 90, not even trying, I should be able to get a top 10 if I actually try, right? You would think, and this test is gonna show it. And by the way, if you like this content experiment and you wanna see what happens over the next few months, make sure you subscribe and click the bell and we're gonna walk you through everything, nothing held back, show you exactly what happens when it happens so that you can duplicate this and make some money for yourself. The next one I went for was Bluehost Affiliate Program. I noticed a lot of people were searching for these. Again, you gotta look at the amount of searches that are out there to make sure it's gonna make sense. Now I like to do this using several different tools that'll show show you who's ranking number one and how much traffic they think they're getting, which is pretty cool because then you can use that to figure out where you're going to be so you don't do all this work and spend all this money on articles that get you a visitor every seven months. We don't want to do that. So Bluehost affiliate program was a good one with over 400 searches a month on the main term and lots of subcategory terms as well. And it's one that I've used and I think it's pretty good, so we could use that as well. Next, I'm going all in on the free classified ad site. Since I ranked number two without even trying, I figure if I go for a lot of the subcategory words, we're gonna do pretty good as well. Especially when you look at the fact that free classified ads has about 4,900 searches a month, free classified personals, 2,900, and post free classified ads in USA, 1,000. So there's lots of subcategory words here that we can choose from, including stuff like free ad forum, which is the one that I currently rank for, free ad forum, all like that, which gets 250 searches a month. And I'm showing that I'm getting an average of about 38 visitors a month as it is right now without even trying. So I think we could do a lot better on that one as well. Next up, I went for high ticket affiliate programs because I noticed this one has quite a bit of searches as well. So we got some articles written about that. And lastly, the one I'm gonna show you today is pay per lead affiliate programs. So these are the main keywords and I know if I can rank for these and some subcategory words, as well as for the other 34 articles we're gonna go through, then I could get some traffic. So let's dive in, let's see what I got for my thousand bucks. Okay, so now here's the article website that we use that you can find at getwebsitecontent.com. Over there, you can get all these articles written and these are the prices on the site, okay? So we are looking at beginner, general, skilled, expert. I usually use skilled, which is why you could see my 2000 to 3000 word article was 2820. Now, you can also use beginner level. We're gonna be testing this out and show you uh, the difference between beginner and skilled and expert. So we'll try them all out uh, on the same article and we'll make another video where you guys could see the difference and decide for yourself which is best. Now, no matter which one you get, you're also gonna need to remember that you're gonna have to do some revising, okay? So this is what it looks like. These are the prices. You would just go in here and put your project description, your keywords, and the instructions for your article. So project description would be your keyword, then you put your keywords in here. I usually just put one main keyword, your sweet spot keyword, and then put some instructions. So if I'm going for something like Wix affiliate program, I would put Wix affiliate program up here, Wix affiliate program down here. I'd choose skilled writers because that's the one I like. I'd choose one day because I want them to do it in one day. And then I would go through and I'd put a description of what I want. Please write a report talking about the Wix affiliate program, what they pay, how to promote them, and how people can make money with the Wix affiliate program. And then I give them some links to help them out of other websites that I found that I like that rank for that keyword. Very important because they're going to use those links and they'll be able to see what you're after instead of just writing a bunch of junk. Now, once you submit your job, a writer will pick it up. Usually within an hour or so, he'll pick it up and, and, and start on the job. And then once he's done the job, it'll actually go into your projects. And then there'll be like a little time thing here. And that's the time that you have. And that's the time that they have left to create the article. Very simple. 
once the article is done, it'll go into your download area and you can actually go in and see the details and download the article. Very simple. So what I've done is I went ahead and did all this for us and I have about a thousand dollars worth of these articles that I've started on. We have seven of them in here. There's about 30 or 27 left or something like that that we're going to go through as well. So you can see the articles here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how they work, right? So here's one I did for Paper Lead Affiliate Program. Uh, this one's very easy. It talks about Paper Lead, talks about how they can get paid. So they did a really, really good job. Now, if a writer comes back and does not do a good job, you can click Request Revision and tell them what you want them to change. It'll give them another 24 hours or so uh, to make it up to par. And then again, you have another chance to approve it or not. Now, don't get too crazy with it. Like, obviously, you're going to have to do some editing. So as long as he's got the bulk of it in there, I think we're going to do okay. Okay, and these ones I have approved. They're doing pretty good. He's got some different um, programs on there we can use, different stuff like that. We also have the Amazon affiliate program one, which is the one I'm going to be working with today. Okay, so this one's here. Pretty decent, uh, pretty good article there. We have the Costco one. Now, the Costco one, I had to have him rewrite it because the original, it was all about Costco as a company, which I don't want that. I want Costco affiliate marketing. Then we have an article for Fiverr Affiliate Program, which is another keyword I'm going through. He did a very good job on this one, talking about Fiverr, how to get paid, where to sign up, different things like that. And then of course we have the free classified ads one where he talks about the free classified ad sites and he lists the various sites, which is good because we wanna get ranked on those as well. Okay, and we'll show you also, like I would go in and I would put uh, variations of free ad forum. And then I put like the free adforum.com uh, since those are keywords that I want as well. Okay, so very simple, very easy. Uh, we also have high ticket affiliate programs where he went through and did various high ticket programs. And you guys could see there's some formatting you need to do on here, uh, you know, check for little errors and things like that. Uh, but it's a hell of a lot easier than having to come up with this content on your own, right? So very, very simple. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at for that one. And then our last one was for the Shopify uh, affiliate program he did a good job on that one as well. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this content and put it on our blog. Now, we don't want to put all 35 articles like right away on the blog, right? Because that's going to be too much content. We want to drip them out maybe one per day over the next month and see how they start to rank, see how they start to do. So when I do this, I'm going to go into my blog dashboard here like this, and then I'm going to take the article I want. Okay, so I got Amazon affiliate program. I'm going to open that up and just kind of slide it over here in the other screen for now. That way we're working on this. Now, what I did beforehand is I used one of the keyword tools that we're talking about over on keywordsniffer.com. I ran a report for the top people that are ranking for the words that I want that are re related to the Amazon affiliate program. Okay, so we got them here, we got them here, and we got them here. Now, one of the ones that I found, which is a sweet spot keyword for me, was Amazon Affiliate Program Review, right? If I can get a good ranking on this, I can bag some good traffic. You can see that this guy's getting like 185 searches a month just from this one. Now, again, remember, all these rankings and, and more, there's four pages of them, are just one blog post, okay? So pretty easy. Like I can get all this traffic from one blog post. Now we're going to try to go for some of the bigger words also, but we want to focus on the sweet spot keyword. So we're going to get that sweet spot keyword here and we're going to go to our blog post and we're going to go post, add new. Okay. Now I don't mess with SEO uh, plugins or anything too much. Uh, they kind of slow down my site and I haven't seen that great of a response from them. You could try them out if you want, but we're not going to in this example. Okay. So we're going to go through, we're going to start with our main keyword, Amazon Affiliate Program Review. I'm just going to capitalize those, okay? And then I'm going to put something else, like maybe uh, Amazon Associates, uh, Amazon Associates, what did we have, uh, a program, how to get started. Okay, so we got Amazon Affiliates Programs Review, Amazon Associates, How to Get Started. The next thing we're going to do, now I found a really good keyword in the, uh, when I was shooting the video earlier, which was Amazon Affiliate Disclosure. So I'm just going to type that here, Amazon Affiliate Disclosure. 
and I can put disclaimer too. Okay, that way I remember that that's a keyword that I want, so I'm going to put that in here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my article here. I'm going to get the article body and copy everything from the article body. I right, like this. I think this one was about 2,200 words, and I'm going to put that in the blog post. Now, I could go through and I could do like all kinds of cool things, like I can bold this. Um, I could go through and add things in there. Um, I can do like, if I want this to show up on the top, I could do something like um, note, be sure when working with the Amazon affiliate program, okay? Um, and we're gonna have like a little little like checkbox kind of thing over here. So note, be sure when working with the Amazon affiliate program, First off, we'll say um, have a Amazon affiliate disclosure disclaimer. Put some other tips here like never cloak your links. Always use raw links. And then we'll put another tip like always use a direct to product product link can't spell today okay and then we'll put that in there and then we'll go ahead and, and just kind of clear this up according to business insider amazon valuation blah 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 okay good 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 looks pretty good getting started with amazon's affiliate program we'll bold this there you go um you need to sign up okay so we could just we can make this easier for them we'll just do amazon.com i'll just scroll down and get their affiliate uh sign up page so let's see where that's at work with amazon Okay, we'll have to Google it. They don't want to make it easy for us. Amazon affiliate program sign up. Okay, so we'll just get the Amazon affiliate program sign up here, and then we'll put this. Now, if this was an affiliate link, I would definitely want to use that, but they don't they don't offer that on Amazon. Um, so we'll just have to put this here. Okay, so we'll do Amazon affiliate link sign up. Okay, boom. There we go. And always when you do links that are off of your site, make sure, oh, let's see. Always make sure that you open them in a new window by clicking this tab here. Okay, very simple. Now you can also go through and put images in. If you got screenshots or whatever that fit, you could do that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of finish formatting. How do I get started with the Amazon affiliate program? Okay, we'll do that like a big one. Uh, what is the Amazon affiliate program? We'll do that big as well. Uh, and we can make these red if we want or whatever uh, color you like, okay? Becoming an Amazon affiliate, create a blog or website. Okay, so we can make these headlines big. Boop. Make this one big. Doot. All right, like that. All right, like this. Okay, looks good. It's got all the contact info stuff here. And then we'll do to negotiate to navigate your account. We'll do this bold. Okay, and then you can put in like screenshots and things like that. Good, good, good. Okay, then we could do like pros and cons of the affiliate program. Cons. Okay, and then we'll go through how to promote your links. Blogging. Social media. Boom, like that. And then now we have our page pretty much set up, right? Now, once we have it set up, uh, we got all our keywords, we got everything set up here. Uh, we can go ahead and, and save a copy, okay? So we'll save it here by clicking Publish, okay? And then once that's published, it'll go live on our blog and then we'll have a link here and we could see what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna go through afterwards and I put some links in to like get people to buy stuff because obviously the key here is getting them to buy things. Um, so I would put some links in there, some affiliate offers, uh, use some of the plugins that I have. I have a plugin that creates ads. Uh, it'll create ads like this within the content. So like if I wanna put ads within the content, I could just go uh, in the content wherever I want those ads and I would just put like this little code down here all right, like this, we do ads. We could do like, uh, I think it's called in content. 
and then we could choose however many ads we want. And then I could just put this wherever I want within the content. Okay, so like if I want them right up front, I could just put that right in there. And I think it might have to be in text. Yeah, there we go. I'll just put it right in there in text. Update. And then what that's going to do is it'll put the ads in there, right? you got to have the ads in there because the whole point isn't just to get search engine rankings. It's to make money. So you can see how it puts the ads in there. Uh, very simple, very easy. Um, and it looks like part of the content, which is pretty cool. And you can put them as many times as you want. And then once this is done, you're ready to go. Uh, we're just going to wait for the search engines to pick this up, which usually takes a couple of days or so. Uh, if you have a blog that the search engines know about, it doesn't take too long for them to pick it up. And then we'll see how it ranks, which is pretty cool. And and if you keep doing this over and over, you'll start to rank for your terms and you'll start to get a lot of traffic. I was just uh, reading an example of someone that I was looking to interview on my site. And this guy started back in 2019. He did guest blogging. He did posts like this. And he's got like a ton of traffic for words that I never even thought I could go for. So this challenge is kind of to challenge myself, get some really good rankings and show you guys the process every step of the way. So if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of videos about how this goes. We're going to show you how we post the other articles. We're going to show you when they get ranked, what we do with the rankings, how much traffic they get, and everything like that. So you can kind of see like a bird's eye view of how this business works and how content marketing works. We're going to do this with $1,000 to start, see how much traffic we get, and then we'll come back and do some more if it does really well because, you know, hey, that's pretty cool. I could make that back in like one sale, which is cool. Now, depending on what you're offering, you might need a little bit more than one sale, but you get the idea. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell and go over to keywordsniffer.com for the keyword reports so that you can do these reports um, on all kinds of different uh, blogs and sites to see what you can rank for and find those sweet spot keywords. Thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus. Check out the next video that's going to talk about all the SEO tricks you need to know coming up.